every now and again, and I remember one occasion in particular, a few assignments back, in which a person who was looking into the RCIA, the possibility of becoming Catholic, in describing what they were looking for in a community of faith, said to me, Father, I'm looking for a church that will accept me for who I am. To which I said, as pastorally as I could, you would be hard-pressed to find a true, authentic Christian church that does that. Because Christianity's call is conversion, dying to ourselves, letting go of our old ways, and embracing the gospel. And sometimes that means overcoming particulars in ourselves. I had another person once say to me about the Holy Scriptures, well, Father, and they spoke to me as if I was the one that needed to get the clue. Father, if I did everything that that book tells me to do, I'd have to completely change my lifestyle. I wish I had a buzzer. Ding! They win the $25,000 prize. Congratulations. That's the idea. We are called to make adjustments. We are called for conversion. But it does speak to our pension. And I think everyone, one way or the other, some bigger, some very, very small, one way or another, I think all of us perhaps are guilty of this, is the tendency to, yes, embrace the gospel, but one way or another, there are certain provisos and stipulations that we like to attach to it. To make perhaps being a follower of Christ more palatable, or not make it as difficult, make it more uplifting and not as challenging. And sometimes there are those who actually pick and choose what they would follow and what they won't. Pope St. John Paul II called those cafeteria Catholics. I like to call them yes, but Catholics. And we see examples of that in today's gospel. Jesus even calls one of them on it in so many words. Yes, Lord, I want to follow you, but first let me bury my mother and father. Yes, Lord, I want to be your disciple, but let me first say farewell to my people at home. Jesus says to another, yes, you want to be my follower, but foxes have lairs, birds have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Yes, you want to be perfect, but you must sell all you have and give to the poor. Jesus kind of responds with his own yes, but stipulations to the yes, but uh, discipleship that he encounters with many others. And that shows where, you know, yes, we are, we like the idea of being disciples of Christ. And some of us truly embrace it in all sincerity and truth. But for so many, when it gets very tough or challenging, there's where we throw in the provisos. Yes, I'm a Catholic, but I don't believe in everything the church teaches. I have yet to meet someone who actually knows everything the church teaches. Yes, I'm Catholic, but I don't believe it's necessary to go to Mass on Sunday. Yes, I'm a follower of Christ, but I believe in a woman's right to choose. Yes, I'm called to be a disciple of Jesus, but I don't want to impose my faith on other people, regardless of the call to evangelization. And we see examples of that in today's world, and perhaps we've always had that. Where, yes, there's certain ideas of following Christ, but we like to kind of cater it. A few quid pro quos, a few provisos, some classifications. Cafeteria Catholicism, or yes, but Catholics. Jesus, as I said, responds with his own provisos. And in many ways, the teachings of the church does the same thing. Yes, Jesus made you as you are. But he didn't make us for sin. St. Paul has his own provisos in today's second reading. Yes, we are no longer under the law. But that doesn't mean we live in a free-for-all. Yes, we are people of the flesh. But... That doesn't mean we are governed by our urges and orientations and proclivities, because we are also people of the Spirit. We are called, perhaps, to reflect upon those areas in our life where we, in some ways, let's face it, we do kid ourselves. 
Sometimes we like to paint God into an imaginary friend who fits our own expectations, our own little box. Sometimes we like to think in terms of wishful thinking, and that's sometimes how I often describe Catholicism, is wishful thinking and imaginary friends for many people. I can't imagine God sending me to hell for this, even though that's what the church teaches. Although they don't teach that you'll go to hell for anything, really. But you look at some sinful behavior and you wonder how that's going to help him get to heaven. So I'll say, yes, God might not send us to heaven. Or excuse me, God might not send us to hell for thus and so. But how do you think that's going to help you get to heaven faster? So maybe it's a point of uh, just a simple reflection. We're in ordinary time. It doesn't have to be all that complicated anymore. We've gone through uh, Easter and Lent and a year of mercy. Perhaps just simple reflections on what provisos do we attach to our own following of Christ? What yes buts do we throw into our own Catholicism? What experience have we had of the challenges of the gospel, the challenges of the church teaching, where they might say yes to certain things about us, but here's the challenge we have to overcome our sinfulness and be a better disciple of Christ, to continue to grow, to continue to change. Because Christianity is not about accepting us for who we are. It's not about distractions from things that would draw us away from fully living the gospel we're called to live. It's not about making excuses based on public opinion or biological proclivities or culture, popularity. Yes, we want to be included, but we're not called to do what the pagans do. Yes, we're called to eternal life, but we are called to conversion. Let our yes buts always be in favor of living that gospel more fully in our lives and not ways in which we downplay the call that Jesus has for all of us to live that gospel, to constantly undergo conversion and a change in life. And even when it's uncomfortable, be those heralds of evangelization so that we can bring our world out of a yes but mentality that pulls us away from the gospel and more than a yes but mentality that pulls us toward the gospel. That doesn't help when we become yes but Catholics to change according to our own ideas but yes, but followers of Christ, according to Christ's basic commands.